Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll explore Charles Brush's wind turbine, which is believed to be the first automatically operating wind turbine for electricity generation. In 1888, Charles Brush completed the construction of his wind turbine on his property in Cleveland, Ohio. The wind turbine consisted of a 56-foot tower with a rotor diameter of 17 meters and 144 blades made of cedar wood. The rotor was mounted on a vertical shaft and was connected to a generator located at the base of the tower. The wind turbine produced 12 kilowatts of electricity, which was enough to power Brush's mansion and several other houses in the area. The turbine was also used to power streetlights in downtown Cleveland. The unique aspect of Brush's design was the use of an automatic furling system that allowed the turbine to automatically turn into the wind to optimize its energy production. This system used weights and levers that were balanced so that the blades would automatically adjust their angle to the wind. This was the first time that a wind turbine had been automated, making it a significant breakthrough in wind energy technology. On December 20, 1890, the journal Scientific American published a detailed description of the brush windmill. It was particularly noted for its fully automated electrical control system. Despite its massive size, the generator was only a 12 kilowatts model. This was because the slow rotation of wind turbines of the American wind rose type did not have a particularly high average efficiency. It was the Dane Poole Lacour who later discovered that fast rotating wind turbines with few rotor blades are more efficient for electricity production than slow, moving wind turbines. However, Charles Brush's innovative use of an automatic furling system was a key breakthrough in the development of wind energy technology and his legacy continues to this day.